getting a new puppy can be one of the most exciting and rewarding things you will ever do, but it's so important that you've done your research and know exactly what to expect. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the costs involved in owning a pug to give you a more clear idea and to make sure you're not left counting the pennies. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pug Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. From the start of 2020 through to 2021, the world's been hit with the coronavirus. This virus has had big impacts globally. It's seen countries put into lockdown and people staying in their homes to keep each other safe. The coronavirus has even affected the canine world. The prices of puppies have become extortionate and it almost tripled during this time. This is because of the demand for new puppies has grown due to people being at home more during the lockdown. People have had more free time to devote to training and socialisation. The demand for dogs has significantly increased, therefore the cost of puppies have sadly increased too. It's important that when you're looking to buy a pug puppy, you know how much money you should be spending. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the price range you should anticipate when getting a new puppy. It's always important that before buying any puppy, you check that they've come from a proper background of healthy dogs, that parents are healthy and that you're not buying from a puppy mill. A reputable breeder will charge you a fair price and won't be looking to rip you off. You should be looking to spend around £800 to £1,500 for a good quality puppy in the UK. In the United States, a good quality puppy ranges between $850 to £2,350. Currently, the UK's top breeders for pugs are charging £1,800 for high-end show lines so any breed charging more than this in my opinion are charging more than they should unfortunately during covid19 some breeders have been charging up to three thousand to four hundred pounds which is around four thousand to five thousand dollars it's important that you pay the right price for your puppy so wait until you find one that's the correct price range that's been bred from healthy parents ensure that the puppy comes microchipped and with its first vaccinations complete and any paperwork if they've been registered by the kennel club good breeders will also usually gift you a bag of food that the puppies have been eating and a blanket that has their mother's smell on it to help settle the puppy quicker into its new forever home it's also worth considering the option of rehoming unfortunately each year thousands of dogs are placed into rescue shelters shelters because of their previous owners not having fully considered the implications of what owning a dog requires. They soon find they can't cope with the breed they've chosen for multiple reasons, be that the cost of looking after one, the temperament, training requirements, or they just don't have the time to dedicate to them. It certainly is worth considering looking at dogs in rescue shelters. This will save you money on the cost of a new puppy, but more importantly, give one of these puppies a second chance at their forever home. Now let's look at the cost of feeding your new pug puppy. It's completely your decision on what you want to feed your new puppy. It's generally a good idea to keep them on the same food that your breeder has been feeding the litter for the first month or so. If you do want to change the food to a different type of food or different brand after the first month, you should do this slowly. If you're feeding a dry food, mix a small amount into their usual food. Over the next couple of weeks, you can slowly increase the amount of the new food until you've eventually phased out the old food. The prior the price of dry food depends on what type of kibble you feed your puppy. Cheaper dry kibble tends to be full of cereals and grains and they don't have much actual meat. The meat that has been added will be a poorer quality. These cheaper brands of dog food offer less nutritional value. When looking for a good quality dog kibble, you should start by looking at the first few ingredients in the ingredient list. The first ingredients listed should always be a meat or fish product and be a high percentage of the overall ingredients. If the first few ingredients listed on the dog food is a cereal or grain, then this dog food will probably not be a high quality one. Dogs only need around 5% of fiber or fat in their daily diet. and Most of the canine's nutrition should come from animal based products. Plant proteins are not complete and can be harder for your dog to digest. The average cost of a bag of high quality dog food costs around 12 to 15 pounds for a two kilogram bag or 18 to 20 dollars for a four and a half pound bag. However, it does work out cheaper to buy larger bags. Another food alternative and one of the best ways to feed your puppies by choosing a raw diet. You can buy readily made raw options from most pet stores or you can choose to do a DIY raw diet. Feed 
feeding a raw diet would be more expensive. However, when you feed a raw diet, you'll know exactly what your puppy's eating. The cost of feeding your pug a raw diet will depend on the brand you choose to use. If you choose to feed a readily made diet or a DIY raw diet, the meat your puppy likes and how much your pug actually eats will affect this. Some dogs may not like certain meats and many dogs are allergic to chicken. So this may lead you to feeding a different meat, which could cost more or less. There are plenty of other costs when you're getting a new pug. You will need to buy things like crates, beds, toys, treats ready for your new puppy pug. So let's look at the approximate cost breakdown for the items you'll need. So for vaccinations, your pug puppy should have their first vaccinations at around six to eight weeks before you pick them up. They should have their second set of vaccinations two weeks after. The cost of these vaccinations will differ where you live and will cost between 30 to 60 pounds or 75 to 100 dollars. Yearly vaccination boosters. This will be required yearly to keep your dog up to date with their vaccinations. If you've chosen to insure your dog, your insurance could become invalid if you've not kept up to date with your canine's yearly booster vaccinations. You can find out the cost of the yearly boosters by consulting your veterinary practice as the cost varies between practices and different areas. It's important that you invest in a good quality strong collar and lead that your puppy won't slip out of. You should spend around £25 or $35 for a collar and lead that will grow in size with your puppy. You should look to deworm your pug every three months or every month if they tend to eat things off the floor during walks. Worming tablets will cost around £5 or $12 and fleeing should be done monthly. This will cost around £8 or $30. It's a good idea to invest in a good quality dog bed that cannot be ripped apart very easily. Depending on the type of dog bed you would like, can cost anywhere between £10 to £80 or $20 to $100. It's important that you select the right size crate for your pug. They should have enough room to be able to go in and turn around in their crate comfortably and lie down in it. Make sure your crate's not too big or small. For a good quality crate, it can cost anywhere between 30 to 150 pounds or 40 to 150 dollars. It's also a good idea to invest in a crate cover to make your pug space private. You'll need both a food and water bowl for your puppy that will be easy to clean. You can get stainless steel sets that will come with both food and water bowls for around 10 pounds or 15 dollars. You should also buy your pug treats and toys too. The cost of toys and treats completely depends depend on the brands you buy, how much you buy and how quickly your pug gets through both of their toys and treats. I personally feed my dog natural dog treats like furry rabbit ears and as they are a natural dewormer and things like trachea's, yakas and antlers. However, it is personal preference. Some people might not want to feed natural treats like that. Other treats are still good to feed. I also choose long lasting toys that won't be destroyed quickly and puzzle toys that will mentally stimulate and entertain them. Other costs to be aware of include if you choose to have your dog walker, using board and kennels when you go on holiday, or if you choose to send your puppy to puppy training classes. It's also strongly advised that you should get your pug insured to cover health issues like diabetes, breathing issues, eye issues, skin issues, neurological issues, and bone and joint issues. You can choose the level of cover and protection you require. Personally, I'd recommend getting your dog insured as the cost of it will give you the peace of mind against the rising vet costs if your canine ever needed life-saving treatment. Any dog that you choose will always cost you money. It's completely up to you how much you choose to spend. There are a good range of products that suit most budgets, but like anything, you'll usually pay more for a better quality. It's extremely important that you do your research before getting any puppy and having a realistic idea of the cost is essential. Too many dogs are abandoned or put into shelters through no fault of their own because their owners have not thoroughly researched the costs involved and find they can't look after them properly. Overall, your pug should cost on monthly an average up to £50 or $80 per month after setup costs and over £10,000 or $14,000 over their lifetime. They'll certainly be a worthwhile investment. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated pug videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pug Show.